Ansible is a free software platform for configuring and managing computers, combines multi-node software deployment, ad hoc task execution, configuration management, provisioning, security and compliance. It manages nodes over SSH or over PowerShell. Modules work over JSON and standard output and can be written in any programming language. The system uses YAML to express reusable descriptions of systems. It aims to provide large productivity gains to a wide variety of automation challenges. Unlike Puppet or Chef it doesn't use an agent on the remote host. Instead Ansible uses SSH which is assumed to be installed on all the systems you want to manage. Also it's written in Python which needs to be installed on the remote host. This means that you don't have to set up a client-server environment before using Ansible, you can just run it from any of your machines and from the client's point of view there is no knowledge of any Ansible server, you can run Puppet in standalone mode, but Puppet still needs to be installed. There are some other requirements though, for example if you want to do something related to Git on a remote machine a Git package must first be installed on the remote machine. Ansible is available for free and runs on Linux, Mac or BSD. Aside from the free offering, Ansible also has an enterprise product called Ansible Tower. Ansible tool is very simple to use yet powerful enough to automate complex multi-tier IT application environments. Michael Dehan, the author of the provisioning server application Cobbler and co-author of the Funk framework for remote administration, developed the platform. Ansible Incorporated originally Ansible Works Incorporated, was the company set up to commercially support and sponsor Ansible. What is Ansible? Ansible is an open source software platform for managing and combining multi-node software deployment, as well as ad hoc changes in the execution and configuration management of a system. Ansible is a new DevOps tools that enter after Puppet and Chef were already established in the IT market. It has a different approach to solving the IT infrastructure and automation issues. The original author of Ansible created it, with the intention that to deploy infrastructure, you shouldn't be required to learn programming. To connect to remote servers that needs to be managed, Ansible either uses SSH for Nix-based system and WinRAM Windows remote management, for Windows-based systems. Which language Ansible is written in? Ansible is written in Python and PowerShell. What Ansible can do? We have many automation tools used in the market namely Chef, Puppet, Salt Stack and Maven etc. Each tools has own functionality and features. Ansible can be used in many different ways too. I have mentioned some of them below. Configuration Management Application Deployment Security and Compliance Provisioning Orchestration How Ansible Works Ansible is a radically simple IT automation engine that automates cloud provisioning, configuration management, application deployment, intraservice orchestration, and many other IT needs. Ansible categorizes into two types of server, controlling machines and nodes. The controlling machine, where Ansible is installed and nodes are managed by this controlling machine over SSH. The location of nodes are specified by controlling machine through its inventory. The controlling machine, Ansible, deploys modules to nodes using SSH protocol and these modules are stored temporarily on remote nodes and communicate with the Ansible machine through a JSON connection over the standard output. Process of Ansible Setting up the architecture SSH keys and their role Managing inventory in simple text files Using Ansible What are the advantages of Ansible? Ansible is a free and open source software. Easier and faster to deploy as it doesn't rely on agents or additional custom security infrastructure. Ansible has the flexibility to allow user-made modules that can be written in any programming language such as Ruby, Python. It also allows adding new server-side behaviors extending Ansible's connection types through Python APIs. System requirement is very low in Ansible. Ansible using YAML syntax and configuration files. What is Ansible Playbooks? Playbooks are a completely different way to use Ansible than an ad hoc task execution mode, and are particularly powerful. 
playbooks are Ansible's configuration, deployment, and orchestration language. They can describe a policy you want your remote systems to enforce, or a set of steps in a general IT process. Ansible is a configuration management tool that automates the configuration of multiple servers by the use of Ansible playbooks. The playbook is the core component of any Ansible configuration. An Ansible playbook contains one or multiple plays, each of which define the work to be done for a configuration on a managed server. Ansible plays are written in YAML. Every play is created by an administrator with environment-specific parameters for the target machines. There are no standard plays. Do we have any web interface slash REST API etc. for this? Yes, Ansible Incorporated makes a great efficient tool. It is easy to use. What is Ansible Tower? Ansible Tower, AWX, is a web-based solution that makes Ansible even more easy to use for IT teams of all kinds. It is considered to be or acts like a hub for all of your automation tasks. The tower is free for usage till 10 nodes. What is ad hoc commands in Ansible? Ad hoc commands are a powerful yet simple feature of Ansible. Ad hoc commands are commands that we use only for quick purposes that we don't want to save for later, such as checking the status of a server or copying a file to the server tasks we just want to do quickly by typing only few commands. How to write an Ansible ad hoc command? Syntax colon Ansible hosts, m module underscore name, a arguments you username, become. Hosts, it can be any entry in the inventory file. For specifying all hosts in inventory, use all or dot wildcard patterns are also accepted. Module name, it's an optional parameter. There are hundreds of modules available in Ansible. By default it is command. For example shell, copy, yum, apt file arguments we should pass values that are required by the module it may change according to the module used username it specifies the user account in which ansible can execute commands user account ssh become it's an optional parameter specified when we want to execute operations that need sudo privilege by default become is false if you put a c option then Ansible will do a dry run of the command. It will not actually be applied on the nodes. How do I submit a change to the documentation in Ansible? Documentation for Ansible is kept in the main project Git repository, and complete instructions for contributing can be found in the docs. How do you access shell environment variables? If you are just looking to access the existing variables then you can use Envlookup plugin. For example, Accessing the value of home environment variable on management machine. Local underscore home, lookup env, home. How do I copy files recursively onto a target host in Ansible? In Ansible, the copy module has a recursive parameter. However, take a look at the synchronized module if you want to do something more efficient for a large number of files. The synchronized module wraps resync. How do I disable Calze in Ansible? In Ansible, if Calze is installed, Ansible takes it upon itself to make your day happier when running playbooks. If you decide that you would like to work in a professional cow-free environment, you can either uninstall Calze, or set the Ansible underscore no-code environment variable, export Ansible underscore no codes equals one ref Ansible doc. How do I generate scripted passwords for the user module in Ansible? The MCPass utility that is available on most Linux systems is a great option. MCPass method equals SHA-512. If this utility is not installed on your system, for example you are using OS X, then you can still easily generate these passwords using Python. First, ensure that the passlib password hashing library is installed. pip install passlib. Once the library is ready, SHA-512 password values can then be generated as follows. Python C from passlib.hash import SHA-512 underscore crypt, import get pass, print SHA-512 underscore crypt dot using rounds equals 5000. Hash, get pass dot get pass. Use the integrated hashing filters to generate a hashed version of a password. 
you shouldn't put plain text passwords in your playbook or host underscore vars, instead, use using vaulting playbooks to encrypt sensitive data. Refansible doc. How do I see all the inventory vars defined for my host? You can see the resulting vars you define in inventory running the following command. Ansible mdbug a var equals host vars host name, localhost. What is the best way to make content reusable, redistributable? If you have not done so already, read all about roles in the playbook's documentation. This helps you make playbook content self-contained, and works well with things like Git submodules for sharing content with others. If some of these plugin types look strange to you, see the API documentation for more details about ways Ansible can be extended. How can you speed up management inside an EC2? It is not advised to manage a group of EC2 machines from your laptop. The best way is to connect to a management node inside Act 2 first and then execute Ansible from there. What is ask underscore sudo underscore pass in Ansible? This control is very similar to ask underscore pass. The ask underscore sudo underscore pass controls the Ansible playbook to prompt a sudo password. Usually, the default behavior is number. Ask underscore sudo underscore pass equals true. One has to make sure and change this setting where the sudo passwords are enabled most of the time. What is ask underscore vault underscore pass in Ansible? Using this control we can determine whether Ansible playbook should prompt a password for the vault password by default. As usual, the default behavior is no. Ask underscore vault underscore pass equals true. Subscribe to our channel, Interview Gig. Visit our website for more articles and interview questions and answers. www.interviewgig.com Like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.